Hello everyone, I'm Seriously Stressed Gamer and as you can see we have started a brand new world on 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 uh, We're going to get started and start collecting everything we need um, I may cut a little bit of the early grinding out just so I haven't got to sit through me punching plant fibres for an hour um, we're starting off with day one, seven thirty two in the morning and we're on random gen. So we have got to slowly through this episode get a couple of resources going and then find some way that we can stay the night and get set up a little bit. Right, how many plant fibers do we have? Hundred and ten. So let's go here. Actually let's put that I'm going to roll down here as well. And if I need to light the water to there. Put that axe there. Sort it. Right, so we need plant fiber, plant fiber plants. Pants, shoot. We've already got a zombie. Oh. Yes, my theory of hmm, we, just run? we need to get a good bit of distance so we can craft this bird's nest. I want it. I don't think this. Ah, <coughs> oh, I'm not very good with a club either. I don't really want to go running out of this area at the minute. Um, there is a little POI down there and a water source. We may have spawned. What is that a zombie doing? in an ideal location really but I really want to find a POI that's by a town let's get this rock a bit on the ground no stone bird's nest Yeah, definitely. If you're watching this and you've never played this game and you're thinking about playing it, I would definitely get it. It's one of the best zombie games I've played so far. She's still following us. on my other worlds I've got created when I first started on them I haven't seen a zombie for 20 minutes real game time real gameplay so it's typical that I start a recording world and I get zombies pretty much within the first 5 minutes so that is typical. Um, let's see, let's get these quick. Before any more zombies decide to sneak up on us. Because I have found with Alpha 16 a lot of zombies, you don't hear them. They do sneak up on you. Yeah, that's what we looking for. Right, wait. What is it? It's just 
craft at the minute, so let's do the shoes and the gloves. I think that's it, isn't it? Gloves, shoes, hut. We haven't got a hut. Craft. And it should tell me to wear them in a second. that she is persistent. She's not forgetting me very easily. Um, once I have a little bit of fire, I will be putting plant fibre clothing on and then checking out the map. start you off with this is just to help you a rough guide. Sometimes I don't do them, sometimes I do. You get them done pretty much at some point during the game anyway. Stones. I've seen a lot of people saying since um, Alpha 16 dropped that wood is the hardest they seem to struggle with getting when you first start the game. I think it's stone. Because the durability on the tools doesn't last very long. And it takes so long to get a lot of stone. How many have we got? I hate these little stones. How many have we got so far? 69, that's it. I really have no problem getting wood. I got 354. Um, so far. That's just going around hitting these little bushes and uh, twigs that's lying around. But stone, I find really hard to get. I miss being at the point where you have a pickaxe. They are just loads and loads of zombies. We need another stone axe. Do two of them. Right, we definitely not ready to head to a POI just yet. Because there are just so many zombies. What is that? That would be a pretty good POI to set up on top, on the roof. We've already got some defences around the outside. There's a farm. Is it a trader? Have we found... Are we by a trader already? It is a trader! Well, I'm not going in there just yet because every time I'm going to pinch that though. Oh my god. See, I'm a wimp. I need a bow and arrow. Once I've got a bow and arrow, I shall be fine. What have we got? Craft a wooden club. So I shall be doing that. I don't really use the wooden club very much because I'm not very good at using it really. But then again, practice makes perfect, so I should try and use it a bit more. But I do prefer the bow and arrow. Looks like there's a road up here. I 
don't know why some of them take two hits and others just take one. So far, not bad. No business. We go 421 wood. That's just from hitting these little twigs and those bushes as we've been running around. Nothing in the trash. So yeah, if you are lucky enough to come and be in a biome where you have a lot of these, I definitely recommend when you first start to go around hitting little bushes because you do collect a lot of wood pretty quick um, I'm heading back where I came I seen, the I seen that bird's nest I didn't miss it That is definitely one of my pet hates for this game, is going around picking up the little stones. It's so time consuming. And it's 11, 11 minutes past 11 in the morning already. And I see that bird's nest as well. I pick this one up. Nope. 250 arrows already. We just need more stone. Come on, hit it. What's a tennis crafter? A crafter wooden club does craft that while we're hitting this rock. Craft wooden bow and craft arrows. So we found a trader already. Hmm. Stamina left. Right, let's find the boat. Craft. How many arrows can we make? 150. Stone. Right, so we'll craft them. So to start off with, you need to get a lot of stone. I actually thought that tree next to me, that white tree, was a screamer. Then. That would have been the worst luck possible if that had been a screamer. Let's put another one. Have we got enough? Yes, we do. Let's put. Put our arrows in our tool belt in a second. Right, more. What? And then we go and have a look on top of this hill. Did I just see some trash bags over here? Oh, nests. Eggs. Pears. There's one zombie over there. And more stones. Yeah. If you can hear my dog barking in the background, he's 
know me it's deep by now. That's the hardest thing I find as well since I've got 16. I don't know if it is a thing, but I'm sure that your stamina goes down a hell of a lot faster than what it used to. Depending on what you're doing. Not too bad if you're running. It's about the same, I think. When you're doing stuff like grinding, hitting rocks, it seems to take a hell of a lot of stamina in a zombie. Right, so I think how many resources we got? 64 stone. Should we head up? I kinda wanna wait till my arrows are finished to head up that road. So if we just do a bit more grinding, may cut, may cut out and come back when we find, once we've got a bit more resources, so you haven't got to be sticking around with me when I'm grinding. More trees. Nests. I really love finding birds' nests. I find them all the time. And I always seem to find lords when I don't have any room. Put, let's put the food in here because we don't need that at the minute. Put that down there, that there. Put the drink in here as well. Arrows there. 239 feathers. Still. So let's load up the boat. Okay. Let's gather up a bit more wood. So we know where the trade is, so let's have a look at the map. Let's see how much we've travelled round. Quite a fair bit. So that's the trade is. So I don't know whether to head up this way or around here. I know we should go to this water source and fill up those jars we found. So I think we may head there first. Let's just have a quick look to see what is on this road. Some people are probably going to be shouting at me in the comments for not leaving my bed roll down. But to be fair, if I... I know if I found a POI, 
and I got set up, I put my bed roll down. But if I had travelled quite far from where my original bed, where my original bed roll is, I'd be pretty gutted if I died then. And I'd end up back pretty much where I spawned to start. Okay, let's have a quick look up here. And some more wood as we go on. Stone. Ooh. Well, there's one little POI right next to some water. So I don't know whether we should set up in there. And then have a look around then. Once we are uh, set up in the POI, have a look around then to see if there's a town floating tree. Nice. We leave that tree there because he's interesting. Uh, let's get this. That's more stone. Still hitting as much stuff as I can while I go because the first night I like to try and get as much open. Definitely need that craft. I don't think we have. No, we don't need really cloth. Definitely need cloth. I'm hoping this POI will have a lot of cloth so we can craft some splints and some bandages. Come on, bird's nest. So this is 569 wood, 82 stone. Two glass jars we need to fill up. I'm really hoping this POI has a cooking pot. I really need a cooking pot. It's not a lot of zombies around here. It probably will be once we get down here though. Right, let's take let's take the torch off here a second. And put that there. Actually, let's put that there. Put that down there. And just stick it anyway. I know you're supposed to do a farm, but in the early stages I just plant trees wherever they are wherever I am when I get them. So exist I'm not gonna grow if they're sitting in my inventory either. Oh was a big dude. Big dude. Let's try and get him. Oh he's walking away. The one thing I do find difficult with Alpha 16 is, and even though I'm not doing too bad at the minute, is sometimes, like there, my pointer was right on him and I didn't hit him. That's because they've added in um, that wind effect of the game affects where the distance your arrows travel. <coughs> And what direction they go in. I have nothing on him. What direction they go in as well. So you have the effect of wind speed to consider. So you could be aiming directly at the zombie 
and just not hit it. That is one thing I've definitely found hard to get used to with Alpha 16. I've wasted so many arrows. But I'm always very lucky finding birds' nests. I always spot them. Scrap. And craft. Anyone? Cowboy, is there any more? No, we've got. Can I look that? No. Nothing. Let's see if we can get him. He got his attention now. Come on, have something good on you for me. Come on. <coughs> Nothing. Right, this looks like a pretty good POI to set up in. We can just the place set up on the first floor. We should be fine, we've got plenty of trees. So let's get in here. Hopefully it's quite quiet. Because on my other worlds, I never have sleepers anywhere. Lovely. Exploding head. Let's see that. Right, let's craft some wood frames. How much wood do we have? Quite a lot. So let's do ten of them. Place wood frame. should have really checked upstairs first. Oh, there's a big mama. There is a few upstairs, so we're going to knock this back door through as quick as we can. That was a very silly move of me. I'm sure one just jumped down behind me, and she did. Come on in, big mama. Any behind me? See, aim it straight forward and you can touch her. Right in the bits. Quicker we get our bed rolled down, the better. Oh, there's a box and a cooking pot. Right, bed roll. Where should we put you? We'll put you there. No, we can't. Why can't we put you there? There we go. Right, let's go and block up the back door. Wait. I 
like to block up the windows as well with the downstairs of a POI, especially since there's not a whole first floor in here, but I can always build one. Cheers, scrap them. Get quite a lot of wood from them as well. 13. Cooking pot upstairs. Tablets. Nice iron. Food. This is the bad POI. Jars, which we still haven't filled. Let's break her up for bone for bone shiv. get any bones from them at all? No. Scrap you. Okay, there's more cupboards here. More jars, nice. And more jars. And scrap you. windows later. What's that? Medicine cabinet. Nothing in it but I'm going to put my painkillers and honey in there for the moment. Okay. Bookshelf. Just paper. Okay, let's take this bed part for cloth. And um, we found a POI just in time because we need to craft a campfire and place campfire. So I should be doing that now. And we also have a cooking pot. Okay, right, let's have a look at this box. Is. There's got to be something good in this box. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Trash compactor. Ah, oh, too good, not too bad. Right, okay, let's craft a fireplace. Craft. Definitely need to get more stone. Let's scrap that. And put you down here. And then we need. Can we place it on there? No. Why? Why can't we. Why won't you go? I want to place you on the table. And you won't do it. Why? Right, I like to put windows up in here, so I'm not going to put any in the front. Will you go on top of the trash compactor? You will. Okay. So, what is the difference? Right, let's put my cupboard pot in here. Nice, let's, we can always store some stuff in here. Put my food. I like to make sure I'm organised as well. Food, what's that? Goldenrod seed, they go down there. What is my food situation looking like? Let's have a look. 42% on each, so if I eat this, this is 10%. So make sure I don't scrap it like I usually do and eat. Then drink the water, and I have an extra jar then. Okay, so we are pretty much set up. Now on this, with these bars going across here, I like to make my own floor up there and maybe have a stairway going up if I have POIs like this. So I do need to craft some ladders. So where are the ladders? There we go. Now that next um, point there, locate trader, that really does annoy me, especially because I found a trader at the start of a couple of worlds, right at the start, a couple of times, and you think you would have memory or something to know that you have you keep going by your map that you have found a trader but it doesn't so we're gonna have to head back there at some point to get rid of that from the corner of the screen take out the stairs 
these. Put some of those down then. Plus we're getting some wood as well. bottom ones don't matter anyway. Where's my ladders? There you go. Should put it there or there? Put it there. Okay. So let's go back to axe. Um, do I only need one ladder? Leave these stairs here. I'll take them up. Is there anything behind there? So we're not just hitting them, there's gonna be a gap. I think there is. Oh, is that gonna fall? Yeah, that may fall down actually. Um what we could do is take it all down. Oh, it's still standing. Just connect to the wall here. What we'll do is we'll take these out. And we shall put row, let's do some more of these. We can put a row then of wood frames going up with a ladder on. Let's do a few more then. I like to have a few wood frames on me just in case I get into trouble. Right, let's have a look. Can you go under you? No? Why? Why can't you go under there? probably wondering how am I going to get out of the house now. But what I'll do, I'll break a window. I wonder what that noise was then. It's the fridge. Can you hear it? I wonder what that was. Right, so if we... So we can use this pretty much as... Um, I don't want to do it. Actually, let's close that up and we'll just pick a different window. Okay. What we can do, we can also put our building barrel down here as well. So we have a bit of light. Here we go. So if I do this window, I think. Oh, what am I doing? I like to leave the bottom block in and hit the top. So we need to go and fill up the jars. What is that? Huh? Okay. 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 
Okay. So what is it? The party will get. You can take these out. But we'll do that another time. Um, I'll do that off camera. Set up the base a little bit. Right, so we need another stone axe. Definitely get two of them going. Scrap you. Okay. Um. Right, we need to find that water source. So which way is it? Oh, we have a water source here. Or one there. So that's what way am I facing? I'm facing the way. So we need to go over here. Right next to our house. This is a really nice area. Even better now if we can find a town. Let's put you in there. Stone. Okay, let's get rid of you. Let's put you over here. Put you in there. And we're good to go. We need more stone. And we have some here. Okay, I don't think that's been bad first start. We have a POI already. We haven't died. We've been hit once. Oh, this bit's nest. Hit once. We're in quite a nice area. Loads of resources. A water source nearby. Quite a nice area to build. We have a campsite over there as well. A house up there on a mountain. Snow biome over there. I don't know what that is up there. Is that the trader? Have you seen? I don't think so. The trader was that way, wasn't it? I don't know. Um, so, so far, not bad. Really nice area. I like this area. Got a nice little flat area around here. Plenty to help us. We just need a town. We've got the trader marked up on our guide at the top. So really that should come. That thing on the side should go really because we've got the trader marked on our map. So we've already located the trader. Straight away in the first five minutes. robbed him of his burning barrel. Right, how much stone have we got? Under 44, not bad. Get some more wood so we can upgrade the house as much as we can. I don't know if you're going to want to see that. I may do a little bit of reinforcing the downstairs off camera and then whoever's watching this if you leave a comment if you want to see um, what I do with the floor upstairs it's quite easy I just put wood frames down and basically build my own top floor so it's just like any of the other POIs then I've just got a gap coming down where your ladder is and then your own f built your own first floor basically so you're more, more safer in case zombies do happen to break in so we're not doing too bad plenty of wood ready to make spikes it's looking good there's a zombie over there got a few stones not a bad start. So anyway guys I'll leave this episode here if you liked the episode and you want to see more of my 7 days to die let's play uh, please hit that like button and please comment I'd love to hear your feedback, any suggestions, any hints and tips, anything you have I'd love to hear. What is that? I thought that was a zombie then standing on a tree. Oh, my axe is gone now. So yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, 
please give me a like and let me know if you'd like to see more so I'm probably going to do a couple of episodes back to back now we'll see okay so thank you very much for watching and I shall see you again next time bye